Where do you plow? Um, let's see that you are. I'm good on this side. I like this. I like this. For me, I like how these guys are facing up. Yeah. These are facing out. And all I do is just pick it up and drop it on the tire. Yep. I try to do at least three links, do or you? four if I can get them. This one looks like I can get four. Everything's cold, good one. Three links there. Good. Yes. And then once we tighten it up, that should make it a little tighter. Drive it for a little bit, come out, check the chains. Okay. If you can get another You have a tool in, in your there. truck? Uh, yeah, he's actually. Okay, cool. I don't know why all the cul-de-sacs are on. Obviously, you would not want to go anywhere near a cul-de-sac. The black dots are cul-de-sacs? Yeah, the black dots are cul-de-sacs. Oh. Those, those are all the, the black is all the mains that we do. Here, hang on. Got it. You do not usually need to look at old 66. dot usually does it. Okay. That's where we're working today. Yeah, mains are getting there. So. In this truck here today, number 56. The route number is 52. It's a big Mack truck. Now I gotta put chains on it. So, and luckily on my truck today, the chains are already hanging and dry. So I'm gonna pull forward and then we're going to put a block under the back, under the front axle and get the chains on it. Here we go. It's too many lengths for a truck tire. That's for a road grader. Take them back and get another one. I never knew that. Yeah, so since the graders have a wider wheel, they've got a wider uh, cross. And the drive power is always the rear axle? No, so the drive power is going to be your front axle. That's what I thought. The problem is this flap is the mudguard here. Okay. Yeah, sir. 